The Tree Who Dreamed of the Sea Chapter 8 The Swift On the fifth day, Leafy was weaker than ever. He could feel his smaller branches getting dry as chalk, and all of his remaining leaves turning yellow than brown. Those of his roots which were out of the water were shriveling in the hot rays of the sun, and his bark was dry and hot as dust. Ask for help, he thought to himself suddenly. Wasn't that what the dolphin had taught him? And wasn't that how he'd finally gotten unstuck? But who? He didn't have any friends here, except maybe the river. And the river couldn't do a thing for him. Why didn't I ask the magpie for help? He cried. She was right here and I didn't ask her. Why? Because I was too proud. Pride is natural, whispered the river. But too much pride is just foolishness. Well, but what could the magpie have done for me? Leafy wondered. She's so tiny. Carry a message, answered the river. Birds are the bestest messengers on earth. You can say that again said a little bird nearby, especially a swift like me. Yes, said Leafy, I've heard it said that swifts are the fastest birds. True, said the swift. I can do about 180 miles per hour in a dive. My, 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 said Leafy. Even the river was impressed and rumbled, that's amazing. That's awfully fast, said Leafy. Have you ever been to the sea? Been? The swift puffed up his chest with pride. I was born on a cliff overlooking the sea. I made my very first flight, my maiden flight, right above her shining waves. It was some sight to see, I'll tell you. And how long do you suppose it would take you to fly from here to the sea? Asked Leafy. Well, said the swift. Flat out, about three hours, but it would have to be an emergency. Oh, it is an emergency, whispered the river to the swift. He's dying. What? cried the swift. We can't have that. Please, swift, said Leafy quietly. I know you're only supposed to ask a favor of a friend, not of a stranger. Stranger, cackled the little Swift. You're losing your mind, Leafy. Don't you remember me, Swifty? Don't you remember asking me and my whole family what color the sea was? Oh, Swifty, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you, said Leafy. I've got so much on my mind. I made a promise, and I'm worried sick. Because I can't keep it. I need your help. Please go to the sea for me. Tell her I need her. Tell her I'm beached. Did I say three hours by gum? I can do better than that, whistled Swifty. With this tailwind, I'll deliver your message to the old gal herself just two and a half hours from now. Goodbye, Leapy, and good luck, and bye, River. Then, like an arrow shot from a bow, the little bird rose straight up into the sky. In a few seconds, his slim, tiny form had vanished in the direction of the sea. Leafy, said the river with a chuckle, you have more friends than any tree I ever met. I'm a lucky tree, murmured Leafy, and he was right about that, as we shall see. End of chapter 8